afternoon and welcome to the Women's Travel Club Travel Talk Show. This week we have uh, some of a, our wonderful members who have taken time out of their day to be here and talk about traveling with the Women's Travel Club and what it's like and the tours they've been on and answer any questions anybody might have. So first, um, I want to introduce myself. I am Marianne. I'm the founder of the Women's Travel Club and I am in charge of marketing. Um, I also want to introduce my uh, right hand when it comes to travel talk, uh, Kirsten. Kirsten is in charge of guest relations, that means she just wants to make sure that you are all very happy. And uh, she is with me on all of our travel talk shows. And we have a- hey, hello from me. Hello, hello from me. It's me, hello. Okay, go ahead, your turn. We have a great group of ladies here with us um, that have traveled with us before. So I'm just gonna give um, each of them a chance to kind of introduce themselves, just say where they're from, maybe a little bit about themselves. Um, and then we'll get into just a, a few general questions. So we'll start with Liz. Um, if you wanna just introduce yourself and where you're from. And... Sure. Yeah, um, my name is Liz. I am um, living near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and um, I'm a retired orchestra director, school orchestra director, and um, started going on trips as soon as I retired, <laughs> and have um, been loving it. And wish I was in Turkey right now. Oh, that is that. And so uh, next we'll go with Donna. Donna and I live in Vancouver, beautiful British Columbia, where it's a cloudy day here today. I have been on um, eight trips with the Women's Travel Club and looking forward to a lot more. And Sharon. Hi, I'm Sharon Hallam. I live in London, Ontario. I'm a retired accountant and I've been traveling with Mary Ann's group for almost six years and I've been on 13 trips with them so oh. obviously I quite like it. <laughs> wow. Hey Gwen. 13 trips holy cow. Mm. Hi I'm Gwen and it sounds like I'm the newbie of this group because I've been on two so far. But How many? I'm Sorry. I'm supposed to be in Turkey. I've been on two so far. I was oh. supposed to be in Turkey like today so oh. that would have been third and then I'm signed up for Thailand in November which would have been my fourth but and then I'd keep going after that too because I'm, I'm loving it um, oh, I'm loving exciting. being able to go almost anywhere in the world with these ladies and uh, you know not really having having any restrictions as far as people to go with so it's wow. awesome oh thank you thank you that's wonderful thank you oh, Brenda hi Brenda Crone from Saskatoon um, I retired about three years ago, actually three years coming up on June the 1st. And at that point then swift, uh, flipped into travel mode. And my first trip was about eight months, just had to get out of here and, and do some stuff. I was traveling with my son in Europe for a little while. Got home that summer, needed a travel partner, discovered Women's Travel Club. And last year was pretty busy. I think like some like eight trips during 2019. So looking forward to lots more. If you don't cancel in the last couple of months, we're scheduled for next year. So hopefully we'll be able to go to Egypt in October. Yeah. Fingers crossed, exactly. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and Catherine. Hi there, um, I'm Catherine. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm not retired i run my own business which makes women travel club just super great for me because they do all the planning and i don't know if you all can tell who are joining us but there's a lot of friendships that have occurred through these trips which is great i've done four trips with women's travel club i'm eyeing tanzania in september and i have two scheduled for 2021 so we're all keeping an eye on what's happening yeah. <clears throat> oh, how exciting, Catherine. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. It's it's such a waiting game right now as Europe starts to open and, and we're seeing, you know, bits and pieces of travel start to open up, but it's very 
cautious and watching what the rules are going to be and, and kind of seeing, I think, as women who love to travel, this has hit all of us very hard and just a lot of isolation, a lot of canceled plans and we're just Definitely. counting the moments till we can all be away together again. Um, but no. I just want to thank you all for, for being here with us today and taking time out of your day and being on camera and talking, which is hard sometimes. So I really appreciate everybody doing this. Um, and so I think most people mentioned how many tours they've been on with us. Uh, maybe Liz. Liz, how many tours have you done with us? Actually, just two. Um, okay. It was uh, Costa Rica and Peru. Okay. And then it would have ah. been Turkey and, and signed up for Egypt and France. Yeah, the Burgundy Cruise. Yeah, the Burgundy Cruise. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be a blast. Yeah. Catherine, uh, how about you? Have you eyed the Burgundy Cruise yet? No, I haven't yet. Um, but it is funny, Mary Ann, in terms of who you asked on, you knew we'd be home because we were all supposed to be in airplanes or in various <laughs> travel. <laughs> oh, we knew you funny. all had the Next time off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. So many of you were supposed to be in Turkey, right? Yeah. yeah. All of us, I think. I think. I yeah. think except Less. for Liz. Everybody except for Liz. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, I, no, Liz I was, was, too. was going. Yeah, yeah, Liz was going, too. Liz was going, too. Yeah, oh my God! Uh, Sharon and I was supposed to be our last day in Croatia today, and then on to Turkey tomorrow. So wow. nothing happened. That would have been, you guys. <laughs> that would have been so fun. I think oh, the man. Turkey yacht. Uh, who's been on it before? Has anybody been on the Turkey yacht before, or is, was this everybody's? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's like such yeah. a wonderful yeah, experience. A whole private yacht, just us. Beautiful, clear, crystal blue water. Oh, it's just an amazing experience. So when we offered it again, it was like all our regular clients that you know kind of knew each other. It filled up within a day. It was yeah, a oh my God. yeah. So well, Donna told me, Gwen, you have to book the turkey tour. You have to book the turkey tour. She's like, it's so <laughs> awesome. You have to come next year. I I felt like I was in a dream on that trip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the private yachts, like anytime we're just just us on something like that, yes, it's it makes mm -hmm. a big difference. Like you just really get yeah. time to kind of mm -hmm. hang out and connect and it's it's less busy than a lot of tours where you're just constantly moving and everything's yes. different. You, you really feel that home base with just your friends kind of idea. So yeah, any of those like the turkey yachts like that, the French Burgundy, um, Burgundy Barge is like that. The Galapagos is like that. So we have a few options, but the Turkey one's always so popular. Yeah, nice. I just I think too that one of the real bonuses for me about Women's Travel Club is my first trip I did with you all, I needed to have a roommate and I didn't know her. And, um, and it, actually my roommate for that trip, it was a Baltic Sea Cruise, has become a really good friend. We've done three more trips together, but what's great once one is in this community that um, you can reach out to people and let them know what trips you're thinking of or who's going on this trip. And if you want a roommate, there's just some really cool women to choose from. So it's just really nice to have um, friends that you make along the way that also really love to travel. Yeah, exactly. And that's it one helps. of the things when I started it and I was thinking of like names. Like I, I knew the concept I wanted, but it was like, well, what, what should I call it? And I thought the club, because I, it's like, I want that, that feeling where you belong, where now you, you have friends, you always have somebody to travel with. You're going to know people. It's, it's that feeling of being in a club that I wanted. And so that's kind of where the name came from. Oh yeah, when trips come open now, we're always in touch about who's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> I've even changed some around so I can go with some of you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Donna. So many places to go, so. <laughs> so little time. Yeah. So little, well. Yeah. <laughs> so we've kind of covered uh, how many trips you've been on. Um, I'm interested in this question is uh, how initially 
you came to the Women's Travel Club. Um, Donna, let's start with you. How did, how, how did you get to know us? Um, I was traveling in India with uh, another group and um, I made friends with one of the ladies on that tour and she went on the um, Mardi Gras tour with Marianne and she came back and she said, we have got to go on a trip with this women's travel club. So that's when we booked um, Costa Rica um, ah. and the rest is history. So, Oh, how exciting. The start of a new life. Of travel. Yeah. yeah. Gwen, um, how about you? Gwen, how did you uh, hear about us? I came across it pretty innocently, actually. I wanted to travel, didn't have anyone to travel with, so I Googled. I got on Google and I nice. found a, this great group and, and being Canadian myself, I was really happy to find a Canadian uh, based travel club and uh, yeah, and then I, I booked Greece and I loved it, so mm -hmm. definitely. Wonderful. And then I booked PD after that, loved that as well and I uh, can't wait for the next one. Hopefully, oh, hopefully wow. we wait too long. Wow. We're a group of frustrated travelers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, I don't know, maybe it's gin and tonic time. Here, maybe that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> so, Catherine, how um, did you first? Uh, oh. oh, sorry. You know, I, um, I had, you know, Women's Travel Club had been on my radar screen. You were saved somewhere for a few years. And then I just got to a point where, where I really felt like I wanted to pay attention. I traveled a lot when I was younger and I had a gap. And you know, it's hard to find friends that have time and money at the same time. And it also takes a lot of planning. And I never really thought of myself as a group travel person. Um, but I just took the leap. I had a conversation with Debbie, who um, isn't on the call today, but she's on one of the, uh, Marianne and Kirsten's uh, just comrades in this business. And yes. I really appreciated it because I, I needed to have, I wanted to have a roommate. And Debbie said to me that there was there was a woman in a single that she thought would be maybe open to a roommate, but Debbie didn't quite feel like we were a fit, not for anything negative about me or this woman. And I said to her, you know what, if somebody comes up that wants a, a roommate, I'll go. And if they don't, I'm just not meant to go. And what I appreciated about Debbie was she was willing to not book me because she wanted me to have a great experience. And again, it was nothing negative about anybody. She just intuitively didn't think we'd be a good fit. So I took the leap and I wasn't even that nervous, but I remember meeting everybody at the airport. And again, my roommate, like it was love at first sight. I mean, <laughs> she's really, many of these ladies know her. Um, so it was just a great experience. And we had a blast, just a blast together. Um, it's just a lot of laughing when I think of the <laughs> trips I've done with a lot yes. of these ladies actually. <laughs> That's laughing. Laughing and laughing and laughing, I think, is what is yeah. the the thing that um, that that stands out most to me from women's travel club tours. The laughing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, do we laugh? And the last time I laughed so hard, I had tears in my eyes. Was on a women's travel club tour. Like yeah, like yeah. that's the you know yeah. True story. The last time, the last time I peed my pants when I laughed. The <laughs> <laughs> women's travel club. We still accept you. <laughs> yep, and and nobody said anything. <laughs> yeah. We were just glad it wasn't us. So Brenda, how about you, Brenda? How did you hear about us? Well, after my original, my initial um, retirement trip, as I call it, um, I got home. I was retired, but my friends weren't, so I needed someone to travel with. So I just Googled, came across, uh, you know, I was looking for a single women traveling and whatnot. I came across uh, the Women's Travel Club. I read the about, kind of thought, I like that philosophy. So I sent an email to Marianne. She called me a day or so later. We talked on the phone for like an hour or so. Wow. I started booking trips. I think I did eight trips in 2019, and oh my several, several for this year to be re, to be redone next year. And yeah, yes. it was basically it was the kind of the philosophy that was what I was looking for. Um, you know, the fact that you match with roommates. And Sharon and I have been roommates for pretty much most of the trips, and it's been just awesome. You know, I, yeah, uh, the one thing that I really like is the fact that once a trip is confirmed. 
Um, Marianne sets up a Facebook page so you get a chance to interact with the guests that are coming on that trip so you get to know one another find out you know travel itineraries you know Mike can I meet up with you and travel the last flight with you that sort of stuff so that was kind of the fun uh, you know half they say half the fun is in the planning so it was just that anticipation and you know getting to know people emailing you know the, they send out the the roommates in advance so you can talk to your roommate in advance and, and kind of get to know one another and whatnot so by the time you land you feel like you're old friends and like you get the road running and that's what I think I like the most about the the concept of the travel club is the friendliness the travel buddies um, meeting friends that you can travel with again in fact a lot of the trips I've gone on is because I met someone on that trip that's going on the next one and it's on my bucket list so yeah let's go one thing, one thing leads so, to another uh, yeah it's worked really really well for me and I'm looking forward to getting getting my wings back again so we can carry on and, and keep traveling nice Sharon, how about you? Uh, how did you hear about the Women's Travel Club first? Do you remember? Yes, um, I volunteer at the theater here in London at the Grand, and okay. one of the ladies who I was working with one night, um, she told me she had just gotten back from, I think, Australia, and she said, I, we were just chatting, and she said that um, it was with a women's group. So I took the information and I Googled it, but it was a different women's group it was a women's group from the states but at the same time Marianne's uh, website came up and I thought well you know what I'm gonna I, it's hard like everybody has said it's really hard sometimes to find someone to travel with who has the time and uh, has the inclination to want to go to where you want to go to I know most of my friends they're like you are nuts uh, <laughs> for going to those places um, but I've always found lots of people who like to who like to go to all different places in the world, and um, I've made some great great friendships over the years. Um, so that's how I came upon it, and I tried one trip. So you are a good and, friend. Uh, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tried a trip with uh, to Peru. I thought, what? How bad can it be? It's only like nine days. <laughs> and it was so much fun that uh, that I decided that you know this was the way to go, and I've just just kept doing um, at least probably four trips a year um, with wow. the group. I try to do combination ones so that I only have to do maybe one long flight um, over right. and try to do two regions. So right, that's how I kind of work it because those flights. Right, can and Marianne mm -hmm. has the tours that's set nice. up. Um, as best as possible, increasingly yeah. as much as possible to take advantage of regions um, so that you're, you know, you've got a couple of options if you do end up having, you know, more than just two weeks, you, you know, if you can spend another two weeks or, you know, nine days and another 11 days or what have you. So it makes it nice that way. So who else, Liz, did you, yes, how did you hear? Yeah, I just wanted to add because so much of what you have all said was my experience as well. You know, I did the Googling and I'm looking for women's travel groups. I was looking for adventure um, at a reasonable cost. That's something that looked like a good, good deal to me. And I really did look at a lot of different companies. Um, the some I found were, had quite a few younger women were active and I knew I probably couldn't keep up with these young ones. So <laughs> I'm looking for some who are more my age, but still of a certain age. <laughs> yeah, so that certain age um, who also enjoys to have a glass of wine at the end of the night and like to converse and have some laughs together. But I do want to point out to you guys who I, I'm assuming are, you, I think you guys are all Canadian, correct? And I'm the only uh, one that Catherine, Catherine, no, Catherine Catherine is Okay. I well, have for adoption, but that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the listeners who may be American, the other thing I discovered was when I'm looking at these sites and I see WTC and I go, oh, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. And I look at some of the American sites and I go, oh, God, that seems kind of expensive. So I go back to the Canadian site and realize, oh, wow, this is Canadian dollars. And to us yeah. Americans, this is a really good deal. Yeah. So, you know, Americans out there, check it out because it- We're a bit of a, an untapped secret for, for our American travelers um, of a certain age. 
that, uh, yeah, the Canadian dollar for sure uh, works so much in your favor. And there were so many things and options available. So when I first signed up for Costa Rica, the one thing that struck me was, oh my gosh, we have the opportunity to go zip lining, we can go whitewater rafting, we can go horseback riding, we can go on these night tours. Um, and it was, what was nice about it is you could choose to do those things if you want to. And yes. then you, you would be paying the extra amount for that. So if people didn't want to pay for it or weren't interested in those things, obviously, you know, could engage in other activities. So that's what I really love about Costa Rica is having all those nice acti activities available to us. And then my other trip was Peru and it was just amazing. And, and my other love is history. And we went to as many history museums as you can possibly imagine and sites. Oh, how nice. And it, it was beyond my bucket list that I had. Wow. Created. So I've, I've enjoyed two trips. Um, loved getting to know the people. Um, loved getting to know Donna, who was so sweet. <laughs> And actually invited me and another gal from Wisconsin to her house to visit. So oh, how we, nice. Yeah, we flew up to Vancouver. And Donna, I want you to know that your room is ready for you here in Milwaukee. It's all painted and ready to go. I have to say I've been to Donna's house too as a guest as well. She's awesome. Love her. <laughs> yes, Donna's gonna start putting out her own tour in there. Yeah, we just in. Can we have like a we can have a went to Vancouver and I could lead it. I know all the Can we have a yeah, can we have a family reunion at Donna's yeah. house? Yes. One of the other things I wanted to say that I, I um just a minute, but I forgot it, that I think is really important. <laughs> Having a brain moment here. Uh oh. It, um, you know, it gets you out of your comfort zone sometimes because I certainly wasn't expecting to go whitewater rafting in Costa Rica, but I went and it was fabulous. And I can say the same about horseback riding. Twice. And, um, yeah, twice. I did horseback riding in, um, was it Chile or Argentina? Uh, I don't know. We're right on the border. Is it, I think um, it's anyway, like it Chile was, there. It's really fun to be, you know, challenged a little bit outside your box. And, and just because we're saying we're women of a certain age doesn't mean that we're going to not try different things. You know, we're not right. We're not we're dead. Still, we can hike two or three yeah. hours if that's what we want to do. And we can do things like that, too. So Absolutely. when there's shopping stamina alone, we have yeah. this is with decades of experience. Gwen, I know you're with me on this. Um, one, one thing I've also learned about these trips is you should always take an extra suitcase for your shopping. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes. The, the shopping that I've done on these trips, if I, I started to add it all up the other day. No, just to, that. no, terrible don't, idea. Don't, don't, terrible, don't. terrible no, idea. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, no, very, very I bad idea. Two things. I have a message from Debbie who says hello to everybody and that you Aww. all look great. Debbie. <laughs> so Debbie says hi. Um, we have two ladies um, with their hands up. So I'm going to let invite them both to um, come and talk and see if they have a question for you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Or maybe I didn't see it. Um, okay. So our first is Lucianne. Lucianne. I think. Hi, oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you. Welcome. Thank you for attending. Well, I had a hard time getting on. I'm not computer whiz, but um, my Thank friend you. did help me. Um, okay. I am from Indiana, so I'm from the USA, and nice. this is my first time doing something like this, and I'm really nervous, and um, but excited. I always went with a friend. Um, that I worked with, but I retired two years ago in April. Uh, it'll, it'll just turn two years, and I moved to Florida and uh, in November, so I'm kind of without a travel partner now, so I went oh. to Google and um, found this group, women's travel group, but, um, and I talked to Irene a lot, and she was a big help um, with getting me um, on line with this group, and uh, she helped me book my first trip. Yay! 
Um, yeah, for, for next August, uh, it's the Rhine River Cruise. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to get that one, Lucianne. I'm hoping, uh, I don't know, am I leading that one or is that Debbie? No, I think that's Debbie. Oh, that's Debbie. But still, I'm, I'm jealous. I'm officially <laughs> envious. <laughs> we well, have to keep I'm in the country for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and Irene did hook me up with um, Diane, somebody from Canada to, to be a roommate with. Excellent. Nice. Um, so, yeah, because she was looking for a roommate. So I says, well, we'll try it. I get along with everybody. And um, so I hope she likes and we get along. I'm It'll sure. be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, thank you. Oh, I'm glad to. Yeah, I'm glad to meet you all. Definitely. We're glad to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and coming Welcome. on and saying hello. And we're very happy that you're coming on a tour. I think you will love the Rhine River Cruise. The river cruises are all lovely. Um, and just and we took care of the cruise. lack of travel buddies. Now, now you've got like how many travel buddies? Yeah. 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 At least 16 or 15, huh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I see Liz has a cat. That's my yeah. friend. I have my little Bella. So, yeah. So, well, thank you, Lucienne. Do you go by Lucy or Lucienne? I, I go by Lucy, L-U-C-I. Okay, excellent. Well, I was, thank you, Lucy. And well, you're welcome. We will connect with you again, I'm sure. I'm just going to oh, go yeah. now to our next person with their hand up. <clears throat> Who do we have? We have... Okay, it looks like we have Karen Johnson, who it won't let me allow you to talk, Karen. So if you can see this, um, if you could write a question into the question and answer at the bottom of the page, we'll read off your question and answer it for you. I'm really sorry. It says that you have an older version of Zoom and it just won't let me um, allow you to talk and open up your microphone. So, um, but if you write a question in the question answer, we'll read it off and we'll get your question answered. Marianne? Yes? I have a question from Marsha um, that it's more of a clerical issue. I apologize for interrupting the flow of the talk. No. Uh, but uh, I don't know how the answer, does everyone see your camera if you're just an attendee? And I think the answer is no, they don't. No. So I think if you're just an attendee, you're just seeing all of us yes. um, talking and just kind of watching. But if you want to come on um, if, to say something, ask a question, raise your hand and I'll open up your camera and then you can, uh, you can come on and, and we'll open your camera and everybody can see you. And you can awesome. see you. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Marianne. Please and carry on. Where were we? And Chantal, won't let me, it says I have to promote to panelists. Okay, let's see what happens with this. Right, sorry about okay. the technical glitches. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I have Chantal and I'm Hi. Just, hi. Well, My camera hi. seems to be working, but I don't know if you see me. Uh, yes, yes, we can see you. Hello. Oh, good. Okay, I am new and I'm happy. I wanted to introduce myself. I am from Ottawa. I love to travel. I've uh, been in group, but not with you ladies, but you seem so nice. That I would like that. Yes. Looking forward to join you somewhere soon. Excellent. <laughs> Glad. I am uh, hoping to go to Newfoundland at uh, the end of August, but uh, Newfoundland they don't want visitors it's kind of confusing yeah. yeah i think they don't have many cases out there so they just want to no they there. they had none for the last week or so but oh, they're wow. scared and if you go there you have to quarantine for 14 days oh so kind of like oh, going wow. to europe right now yeah just yeah so i don't know i have to wait till those quarantine are over but uh yeah, I would love 
where else where where is uh where is one of the places that you want to see where in the world would you like to go um uh, right i would like to go on the rhine ah because i was supposed to do that three years ago and that didn't happen this in the uh, norway fjord mm -hmm. the so i was supposed to go to helsinki uh oh, st yeah. petersburg take the cruise the baltic cruise and end up in norway and maybe a little bit in germany like a trip of 30 days oh very nice i love 30 days yeah that, is that your trip is that your preferred trip length yeah, yeah, because it makes the airplane more worth it. Like from Ottawa, it's yeah. not easy. It's not like Montreal or Toronto. So there's always too many planes and takes a long time. It's expensive, like Ottawa with all those extra fees. So definitely uh, 30 days is a good time. You know, when I go to the state two weeks, Florida a month. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Nice. Thank you. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for attending and for coming on and talking and telling us a bit about yourself. Uh, we hope you join us on a tour. We have lots of tours available for next year, including the Rhine, which I know you're interested in. So yes, have a look at that. It does connect to um, a Switzerland tour. So to make it longer, close to your 30 days, you can do both and then you're you have your 30 day tour. I've done Switzerland before. It's so awesome. It's one of the greatest plays. Is it? But it's so expensive. It is. I feel like yeah. I am on welfare in Switzerland. You know, the welfare people at the time were earning 45, 50,000. It's like, holy crap. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, things are expensive in Switzerland. Yeah, we saw that when we priced out the tour. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of our thing. Holy crap! Like, holy crap! Uh, it's expensive. Not only the accommodation, because uh, there are some very good bed and breakfast that have many rooms. If you reserve ahead, like you could fit a fair number of people. Uh, but the food, uh, it's pretty hard to eat meat there. Very very expensive. Oh, wow. uh, oh really interesting yeah so she's, happy she's a vegan I'm, I'm a vegan so that would work out for me just fine <laughs> yeah because i mean in france i had lots of uh, great food and great meat because i knew i was going to switzerland so i <laughs> kind of packed in the meat before <laughs> yeah. you know? so. Get your yeah. oh, excellent well thank you so much chantal it was very nice to meet you and we look forward to seeing you on a tour with us. When do you think your uh, next tour will be? Well, our next tours that are still going are in September. So we have um, tours through the fall. We're just kind of on a, a wait and see for those at this point. We're very much hoping everything in the fall goes, mm -hmm. but we've, we've just got to wait and see what happens with all the rules and flights and legislation and, and see what See what happens, but the second, and the second way cross hoping. Everything's looking promising so far. Yes, yeah. Because <laughs> I think I think my tour to Tanzania is one of the first to go, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So mm. We, we're fingers crossed. Yes. 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 How do you feel about those trip uh, airline cruise? People are saying the booking now for next year because they only pay a fraction of the cost. I just saw a trip from Ottawa to Miami for 215 and you had all winter to go and you could cancel at no fee. Oh, it seems you could wow. do no wrong. Yeah, sometimes I think there's like, there, a lot of the airlines, cruise lines, a lot of these companies are, you know, dying, they need money. They're just dying. So if they can get people to, to put in money, even if it's, you know, an open-ended you can change it or whatever just give us money so yeah they're, they've got some great promotions on and if you you know book ahead of time and you're willing to put down some money and just kind of wait and see what happens it, it works yeah our cruises you know yeah I mm -hmm. have two questions that anybody uh, well one I think will be for Marianne 
and um, the other I think will be for any of the panelists. Oh. Um, the easier one I think is Leslie Hangton wants to know, uh, when do we think that the February Egypt tour will be confirmed? Will it all depend on COVID? Oh, well, October think. Egypt. <laughs> Yeah, October yeah. Egypt. And, yeah. October <laughs> Egypt first. If, if October Egypt doesn't go, February will fill up real fast. <laughs> yes. I think we only have a few spots that we still need to fill for February to confirm it. So we're close. And I'm, I'm going to announce this is a big announcement. Big announcement because it's only, only. You heard it here first. Heard it here first because only so far people pre booked on tours have heard about this and so we're going to do a big general announcement next week but for any 2021 tour with exception we have some of the river cruises and things that we actually have to hold exact space on we can't do this but for the rest of the tours we're doing a zero deposit promotion so you can book your tour and hold your spot without paying a deposit initially and that um, gives us time to kind of wait and see everything open up but still gives all our members a chance to hold spots on tours that they know they want to go on so it's it's a great if you there's a tour that you want to book um it's a, this is a great way to book it without having to actually put money down at this point um so that so is coming up would, so the Egypt in February tour, would that be included in that? That will be included, and I we only need a few spots, so I'm sure once we announce this to the general... It's going to probably book up. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so it's looking very... Leslie, I think the answer to your question is, it's not a sure thing. It's looking pretty good, though, for, yeah. for, uh, for February Egypt. Yeah. And okay, the second question, and this can be for any of our panelists, um... Uh, any ideas on the best bag to carry as you're walking around on your trip? I was looking into slingback backpacks because purses are not my thing. Suggestions are needed. So, I just a lady grab a couple backpacks. Greece, I just carried this particular purse, which is uh, crossbody. Okay. And that's perfectly perfect. Um, on other vacations, I've I've taken my backpack, just my regular backpack, and I've found that also perfect. So it depends where you are, how dressy it is, that sort of thing. Okay, gotcha. And I usually take a, a backpack myself, um, but I have a smaller, kind of like yours, Gwen, a smaller cross body bag where I, when all I need is like a bottle of water and my wallety type stuff. Yeah. What else, uh, what other, other, I think it depends on, uh, like a slingback backpack is also a, a good idea. But having some sort of a small day pack, mm -hmm. um, if it's, especially if purses aren't your thing, I would say more, more people have like little day packs of some sort than carry, uh, oh, light here room. we go. Because <laughs> <laughs> all the regular, the darn thing. <laughs> Say, don't give Amy, me another one of those. <laughs> Amy, I, I am also here to tell you that we, um, the Women's Travel Club also uh, has these. Uh, Marianne is holding one up. I'm not sure if you can see her too, but uh, they're cinch sacks. They're just small cinch sacks and new um, comers to. Uh, Marianne, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it new? And she's modeling how to work it. <laughs> There's Marianne showing how to work it, but tip, uh, Marianne, are we still bringing those for newcomers? Um, we are for the rest of this year, and then we're looking at changing it up next year a bit, just um, because we have a lot of ladies that travel with us on multiple tours. Everybody has one. one. <laughs> yeah. So, however, so Jamie, if you're going to come with us for this year, we still have, you'll get a cinch sack to carry things around. But most people bring um, uh, just like either one of their small carry-ons or uh, some sort of a backpack. Most people don't actually carry a purse. Yeah, I think it would depend where you are, though. And for sure. Know, casual, dressy, whatever. If you're in Costa Rica, yeah, you're not going to have a purse, for sure. Um, right. Yeah, but if you're in Europe or whatever, it could be different, so. Exactly. Yes, that's that's true too. My my destinations tend to be fairly uh, rustic, shall yeah. we say, <laughs> Africa. Um, yeah. you know, yes, you don't. Need I was in it. Africa for a month once, and I forgot to bring a hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> like ah, it'll 
work. <laughs> wow. Like, which under normal circumstances, normal trips, that's not a problem. Yeah. Try, and get an Af try and get a hairbrush in Botswana. Yeah. <laughs> and the, like, it's, it's not easy. You, you need to, that's when I started to pack these packing cubes full of extra supplies, just in case. You know, I have a whole bag full of just in case stuff. Um, okay, we have uh, Karen Johansson, who is new from Westchester, New York, and wanted to see some people in the group. Uh, don't know why she's not being able to talk. Oh, I think she would like to be able to talk. Okay, here, um, I'm going to, okay. Karen, we'll find you, and then we'll get you so you can talk. Oh, we found you. Oh, we found you. Karen. There we go. Oh, okay. Hi, Karen. Right. Hi. Hi. I didn't know. I don't know what to do because I didn't see any other buttons on here. But no, no we have the power. We, we have, have the power have to do it. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to kind of see the people that were involved in the group. I have um, looked at your group times, but I haven't done much yet because I said my husband just passed away a couple years ago. So. I always traveled with him, so I haven't done much on my own. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. but everybody looks, you know, very <laughs> friendly yep. and cordial and everything. Nobody's got yeah. foreheads. <laughs> Marianne and Kirsten tell us to clean up, throw on some lipstick. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> listen, yeah, you're, you're promoting nothing. the business. Put on some makeup for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Put on some clothes. <laughs> Put on some clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to be on video, you want to know what you're going to look like, right? If you want to know what you're going to look like, yeah. Yeah, I would just, I wouldn't start out too exotic. It would probably be something simple, so, like I'm kind of a Northern Europe fan, Switzerland, oh. Scandinavia, and something like that, or, or, um, Very nice. that about Iceland. Um, um, did, did you see, what's the one, Marianne, the Lapland uh, tour? Oh, the Nordic, the Nordic, the Nordic um, tour. North. Yeah, that's um, but that's a little out there. Like that's above the Arctic Circle, so that might be true. that's not really a little Europe. different than just Europe, right? <laughs> yeah, true story. Yeah. When Christmas markets or the other thing would be uh, tulip time. Um, yeah, the river cruises are a great option. Yeah, if yeah, I have to see. I still work, so um, ah, yeah. as flexible as some people yet, yeah, but. Uh, um, you know, like a, a group that has a, you know, can take a nice trip. I'm not really on a budget, so I don't have to worry about, you know, nice things and we can go yeah. price and so. But um, um, so I'll have to investigate more of the specifics. I'm I'm off with this. You know, normally I'm not off this much, so I've been taking extra time to. Oh, well, we're you know, so glad you joined us. I'm very so, glad you joined us. Yeah. It was nice um, seeing all the people and everything. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you, you Karen. enjoyed it. And um, please have a look at the tours. If you have any questions, send us a message. Definitely. They're all good. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, everybody's obviously enjoyed themselves a lot. So I like to travel, but it's just very tentative because I haven't done anything too exotic on my own. So yeah. it's, it's hard, isn't it? When, when your travel partner has... Uh, has mm -hmm. ended travel for whatever reason. Um, yeah. That's really one of the things that my husband died a year ago. Um, and one of the things that I found about this group was that it was, it's actually healing. It's actually the, you know, I was a little nervous about, tra not that I, you know, I travel for obviously as a job, but um, traveling with these people has just saved my life, literally. Mm -hmm. And I would, you know, like I say, everybody seems very friendly. I mean, I don't have any trouble getting along with people. I do a lot of customer relation things and stuff, but it's just doing, going to an airplane on my own, it's in a foreign, you know, something like that. Foreign Absolutely. Country, I'm a little, Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Well, that's that's the beauty of it. If you come on one of these trips, you're not traveling alone. Yeah. You know, yeah, you exactly. might travel to the destination alone, but you know, you're going to be meeting up with all these like-minded women. Yeah, and that's the... A lot of the time, even getting to the destination, you can meet up with people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of times, if not at the airport you initially start from, a lot of flights connect through the same airport. So you'll end up joining up with the rest of the group at a connecting airport somewhere other than your destination. Yeah, that would be, 
that which would be I always something. find really fun. That's that's so fun to here I am at strange airport. Do I know trying to pick out especially? Oh yeah, you person. look around oh, and yes, like I look cool. around and try <laughs> and pull <laughs> something on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that movie. Yeah, no, try and see, and then it's like, oh, should I go up to her? There's there's two. They look like they might be like I don't know. What if I, I don't want to be an idiot. <laughs> I, don't want to look, I don't want to look like an idiot on the first day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of times that. <laughs> I'm good at asking questions. I can usually tell if they're lost or not by the look on your face. And stuff. Yes, <laughs> very true. But um, yeah, well, no, I'll have to see. Uh, thank you, Karen. Thank you so I like much. For... That, and I usually plan it. No. Thank you. Thank you for joining us so much. Um, I'm going to let you go, and I think we have somebody else that wanted to come talk. So thank Marcia. you, Karen. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you, Karen. I can't wait to travel with you. Pick a tour. Pick a tour. <laughs> so do you have Marsha coming on, uh, Marianne? Is that who you're trying to connect with? Yeah. Marsha from Pasadena, California. We're, tr we're getting to you as fast as we can. Yes, here's Marsha. Okay, I don't see her yet. Oh, hold on, she's coming. There we go. Yep, something's coming. Something's coming? There she be. There's Marsha. I don't know if Marsha has a camera, but hopefully- Marsha, do you have a camera? Well, I do have a camera and I'm- Hi. Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can hear oh. you. Well, I do have a camera and I've had a heck of a time connecting here and I don't know oh. what's going on now. Um, I, um, well, it, it's probably operator error, but you know, yeah. trust me, the whole zoom video meeting you know thing has been such yeah. a learn as we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of time clicking buttons. <laughs> yeah. Cause we're such professionals, clearly. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I can see you. I see you. Oh, wait, you're looking the other way. Well, Other that's people. because I got three screens going in my office. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not quite sure. I mean, I have to have my laptop because it has a um, camera in it. But I've got two other screens so I can work. And, and, and is that an otter in your pool? I think it's a black veterinarian. Somebody else asked me that, too. That is my baby, Katie. She's um, a black lab, almost two ah. years old. Oh, and so, I'm yeah. a veterinarian, so I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like a dog. Well, no, it's a dog, please. Okay. Um, anyway, so I've been looking for a group, and I've been scrolling and trolling um, the internet, and I came across your group. Uh, my, my husband hates to travel anywhere. He just doesn't uh, want to go. He has to go too far. I mean, I think Las Vegas is his closest destination. And then um, I, I couldn't seem to get gals to go. I mean, my girlfriends don't either don't have the money or they don't want to go where I want to go. So I just thought, oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to find a group I can travel with Perfect. and go where I want to go. So I saw you guys. I signed up for the New Orleans trip. Which oh, yay. Yeah. That and is a fun trip. Just going. <laughs> I wanted to go there a couple of years ago, but um, again, my husband didn't want to go, so we didn't go. Um, and then I signed up for, um, I think I put a hundred, I think I put a deposit on the trip, but now I don't remember which one it was. Oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to get Debbie and Irene on that. <laughs> we'll find your I, money. We'll find your yeah. money and let you know your destination. Right. And then, um, what I really would like to do next year is do that gorilla trekking. Oh, oh please. No. That's that's nice. Come with me. That yeah. was full. Um, but we were able to work with our um, supplier and add a second vehicle. So now we have some spots open in it. Oh, okay. Well, if I don't do it next year, I'll do something else and I'll do that the following year. I mean, I'm going to kind of scope these things out. Yeah. Uh, That's, the gorilla trekking is amazing. Did you watch the gorilla trekking webinar? I did. I did. It was so <laughs> cool. I, I, oh, just, nice. I can imagine myself trekking through the jungle looking at gorillas. Um, and I don't know, um, another of my bucket list places is Machu Picchu, and I know you have a trip there. Yep. Um, does that, I have a question though, do you, do you walk, I mean, do you climb there or? or okay, no, so 
there's okay. different ways to get to Machu Picchu. And you can like hike the Inca Trail, um, you can hike the Salkante Trail, or you can take a bus up. Okay. We, we take the bus up. <laughs> take the bus up? Oh my god! <laughs> but once you get there, you have to walk around it. So the, you okay. have a fair amount of exercise just walking around the, the site itself. Mm -hmm. um, but trust me, I've done the hiking part. Yeah. It is no joke. You want to take the bus up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, so if Marianne is saying that, I am on that bus. <laughs> You're on that bus, so you've tried to hike it too, huh? I have not tried to hike it, but I know Marianne is in better shape than me. And if, <laughs> if she's saying take the bus, I'm taking the damn bus. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm kind of kind of see if I can do it, but if you're well, taking I, I mean, I say okay. that, don't I? And then when <laughs> the time bus. came, the time yeah. came in fear of missing out, I'd be like, okay, I'll walk. <laughs> if you do have an adventurous spirit and really do like to track, and once you're there and kind of know what you feel like in the altitude, because the altitude, it, like, yeah. plays a huge part in this, right, Liz? Liz yeah. did this tour with me. Yes. Yes, Liz. So, okay, you did this. Yeah, tour. so Liz has done this tour, and Sharon's done this tour. Yes. So they both, um, so once you're there, if you really, really want to challenge yourself, there's um, a peak called Wana Pichu. Uh -huh. And you can trek up that, which that'll give you a challenge. That's enough. <laughs> did you, did you say enough? That's good to know because I want to do that one next September. So that's good to know. Yeah. So okay. there is that option if you're if you're there and you're like and it gives you this amazing view. So that's like when you look at the picture of Machu Picchu and uh -huh. there's like a big peak behind it. It's hiking up to that top of that big peak. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, you never know. I mean, I'm a big talker, but when I get there, I might well, talk. I know, I know. It does kind of depend on how much wine the night before sometimes. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to um, taking a trip and traveling um, with everybody. And oh, oh definitely. With. Thank you, Marcia. Yeah, We're looking forward to traveling Just, with you, too. Absolutely. Thanks. thanks so much. Thanks for coming on. Wow, we are, Marianne, we've got seven minutes to go. Should, shall we oh. take a, another question? Um, we've got a couple uh, matching with the roommate. We've kind of covered, Catherine talked quite a bit about that, didn't yeah. she? Okay. Um, oh, let's do the favorite travel story. Okay, yes. Ever, we would like to hear, are you guys, have you guys picked out or do you have yeah. to the top of your head? Um, let, Liz, do you have a favorite travel story? I went to Peru. How about oh. if you have a favorite travel story, raise your hand. Yes, how about it that? Will pick up you. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, Sharon's got one. Sharon's got Sharon's one. Got one. Okay. Um, I loved, loved, loved Botswana. I loved going on the safaris. Um, and it, it's a beautiful country, the way they treat their people is just uh, so so nice and lovely to see because a lot of countries we go to um, not necessarily do the women have the best of lives but in Botswana they're treated very equally there and um, I don't know if anyone else has ever read these books but I read the books uh, the number one ladies detective agency oh yes and, and uh, that, that was about a lady in Botswana and as soon as I read that and they were fabulous people we met some um, we are a very small group because it is very small group travel there but uh, the facilities were just out of this world yeah. and the safaris like when we saw we saw a baby elephant that was only a couple of hours old we saw a giraffe that was just a few hours old um, lime horn was that in Botswana or Zimbabwe <laughs> What did what? we see? Oh, that was form. in Zimbabwe. But yeah, okay. that counts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's yeah. that? Sorry? Lions mating. Oh, lions. Yeah. Mating. We, saw oh. The, we saw the precursor to the baby animals. Uh, uh, lion right. pornography. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that, that trip just, uh, it made my whole year uh, from traveling. And another spot that I really, 
really, really loved is, is ballet. Um, I just felt mm -hmm. so at peace in ballet. It's a very religious, um, not, not religious as in, in your face kind of religion, but the whole thing just kind of envelops you in their way of life. And you feel so, I don't know, I felt very calm and so happy there. Mm -hmm. It almost made me want to go there and live there. But um, so those, those two different kinds of uh, trips, but very, uh, they meant a lot to me because it was one was spiritual with the people and their customs and one was spiritual with seeing the animals and Africa because Africa is so different than anywhere yes. else in the world. Yes, for sure, for yeah. sure. Um, Catherine, I think you had your hand up with a, you had a favorite travel story too, didn't you? Well, I mean, I've got, I mean, I've got quite a few, but um, <laughs> you know, probably a real recent highlight was just the proximity to the elephants that when we were in Sri Lanka recently yeah. and yes. i just really love sri lanka i thought it was just super magical like it was a magical place truly yeah just super magical but it's also the funny moments where you've got a bug in your tent or you know <laughs> moments on the, the baltic sea cruise when we went under some debbie will remember this and heather who are not on the camera but i think they're on today but we went under this bridge this famous bridge somewhere i don't even know where it was and we're running around and they're just all the moments of just laughing with people or shopping with people or, um, you know, just people who get such energy from exploring these new experiences together. Yes. Um, but the elephants were like just amazing. Yeah. And they were close. Like, yeah. Very close. Like super close. Right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think uh, my favorite experience like that was the, um, well, favorite for uh, different reasons, but a funny moment was when I was actually uh, in India with Sharon and the leopard, we were looking for this leopard. Tiger. Tiger, sorry, tiger, duh, for hours, you know, and he ends up about 20 yards, sleeping in the bush about 20 yards from the comfort station type thing. Although when I say comfort, I use that term very- In India, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> India comfort <laughs> you know the place anyway the place wherein business happened um we and so then when it got up just like the 15 minutes before we had to get out of the park because the park closed there's the tire she's like she stands up and everybody's like holy shit she's there and stretches <laughs> oh I'm sorry I have sworn I have I have some foul language on my, I, I apologize she was it was quite a it was quite eye-opening and then she was right there in front of the in front of the cameras like she was posing well, I'm so jealous because you know I am on a mission to see all the big cats of the world and I'm gonna have to go back to India <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. well we got very lucky I'll go <laughs> yeah Catherine I'll I come think yeah, I think just before we end, I think two things that stand out for me for all, from all the trips that I've taken was when we were in Thailand, the day we got to go and give the elephants a mud bath. That was so cool. Mm -hmm. And then the other one for me is when we were in Morocco, getting to ride the camel out in the desert, seeing the sunset, and then staying overnight in the desert. That was just oh, really, yeah, really cool. Absolutely. So that one all of the trips have been good. Lots of stories, but those are two that really were yeah, different. Those are good standout moments. Okay, really quick before we go from each person, where is the next top of your list destination? The really, the must do. If they told you, you get one more trip. That's it. What would it be? Hmm. Wow. Well, hopefully okay. it would be a trip that I could incorporate a liveaboard scuba diving trip around, <laughs> which is why I like the Maldives so good. It was on the yacht with you guys one week and then the liveaboard the next week. So no, that's I'm nice. hoping so Egypt. That's <laughs> nice. Okay, so a liveaboard a liveaboard dive cruise. Liveaboard dive cruise. I think I've stumped you. I've stumped the panel. Well, I mean, I'm only choosing one, but if I could only do one, I'd go back to Safari in Tanzania, which is in September. Yes, yes. you come on, girl. Yeah. We're going. We're going. Yes. Roomies, roomies, yeah. <laughs> roomies in Tanzania. 
Well, I'm just looking that I have six trips already planned for next year, so it's really <laughs> no, you have to take yeah, it's one. hard to fit them in. <laughs> yeah, we're stumped because you're asking for one. That's I know, That's I know, it's really it's hard, eh? I must say that after being to the Antarctic, which was way more special than I ever ever thought it would be, um, I'm really looking forward to going to the Arctic this yeah, and, yeah, and too. Just God, like the pictures would be really amazing to see animals like that in their natural habitat. Yeah. And, and the beauty like awesome. the beauty of silence just being out there and there's just nothing around but this gorgeous. Yeah, thing. just the sheer vast yeah. nature. Yeah. Like nothing. I'll put that one on my list. So maybe that would be one of my top ones then too. Because of Donna's pictures and, and <laughs> her experience, I think I would put Antarctica on my list. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was amazing. Because like, you know, I have to I I was the tour leader and I was like, okay, you know, yeah, Antarctica. It wasn't really one that was like way up there that I must see. I was blown away. By Antarctica, just it's like now on my, it's now on my list, just based on your description. So it's like, absolutely yeah. beautiful, and I'm a warm weather traveler. So yeah, me I too. Was I was like, I'm cold, and like, eh. no, it yeah. wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be, no. and it was absolutely. I don't know how shades of gray can be so beautiful, yeah, but it was. Good. It was just unbelievable. It was a great trip. <laughs> I have another meeting to get to. I apologize. Oh. Yeah. No, I do too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So oh. I will thank everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Everybody you. that attended. And uh, next week's travel oh, talk is, is travel friend. <laughs> is what? Turkey. Turkey. Oh, yes. Turkey. We're gonna, we have Turkey. Men's we'll remember meeting. where we're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, I know. So we'll have to meet again next week. Um, we'll have Eileen from Medsea Yachts on and our um, partner for the Turkey Land portion on. And we'll have a great talk about where we're all supposed to be right now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. So Bye. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye now. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Good to see everybody. So good to